Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my feelings and thoughts, because I won't be afraid to run you over with a cow. I'm just saying, alright? Once you pick up Wii Play's nine quick and easy games, you'll have a hard time putting them down. Yeah, we'll see about that. This is the most generic title screen I've ever seen. My me doesn't even like a good tickle session. What a lame-o. Shooting range tries to be NES's duck hunt, but there's no laughing dog when you miss shots. Find two odd me's out? Wait, what does that even mean? I, I, I can't t This one? No. This one. Wait, what? No? What? What the heck? Gotta love how the pause menu was ripped right out of Wii Sports. Remember Wii Tennis when you had to swing, or well, flick to hit the ball? With table tennis, now you just point and aim. I get why my me is just an arm, so I can like see what I'm doing, but why is my opponent also a floating arm? It's kinda creepy. The game tells me to do 100 rallies, but even if I were to do that, there's no reward. Well, okay, I guess you'd like get a trophy, but who even cares? Pose me, that game where Nintendo was out of ideas. Why is the background randomly a picture of some birds? Okay, and now it's flowers? And now it's a duck? W what the hell? When Pose Me gets faster, it's hard to differentiate the top and bottom poses because they look way too similar. Laser hockey is actually pretty fun, but why does it end after a couple of minutes? What's wrong with getting 10 points to win? I mean, that's how it works with two player, why not one player? Oh great, a game that requires accuracy and precision being played on a finicky Wii remote. Hitting the cue ball is the most awkward thing ever. Trying to hit a bank shot is basically impossible because there's no way to tell where the ball will bounce outside of just guessing. I can't believe these fish are even going for the hook, there's no worm on it. Nobody would even remember Wii Play if it wasn't for this one minigame. For a product that's supposed to promote the Wii controller, it only uses the nunchuck for one minigame, and even then you don't have to use it. Yeah, that's basically the whole game. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did you just say this small tech demo sold 28 million copies? H how? How? Yeah, I'm already pretty bored with this. I guess Wii Play was kind of cool at the time because motion controls were all, ooh, but you know, nowadays it's just a very, very tiny minigame collection with little to no replay value. Don't do what again? Throw you in the trash? Whoops, my bad. Am I going insane? Oh no. Oh, not another one? Instead of nine mini games, now there's 12. Nice job barely stepping it up. Were these instructional videos really necessary for such a simple and easy controller to use? Or, well, on second thought, the fact that they felt that Wii Motion Plus needed a tutorial just to play is kind of a huge problem. And it's kind of insulting, like, hey dummies, here's how you plug thing into a thing. Also, what was with those Wii jackets anyway? Like, was it really that hard to not have a good grip? I underestimated humanity. They didn't even try to change the menu style at all. This is lazy as hell. Hey look, a ripoff of Coney Island from Mario Party 5. Swirl Cone is really cool, but these physics make no sense. You would think Whack-A-Mole would be simple fun, but trying to hit the moles all the way on the left and right side just doesn't work that well. They somehow made shooting range worse. Now you're forced to move your remote to change your view and to shoot. Hey, Andy, scientist here. Look. I'm going to be talking about something very top secret. This is confidential, so keep this between me and you. But I need one of you out there to go into the inside of Nintendo's headquarters to talk about this. You see this? This is a joystick. Yes, and with this joystick, it allows movement in a video game. So let's say you wanted to move a camera or a character. You can do that with this joystick. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that I was thinking. Combine this with that shooting game, and then you can allow the joystick to move the camera while shooting with the remote. And I think that just might have made the game 
playable. But that's that's all I have to say. I can't say anything else. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize the Miis were squeaky toys. This is how the dinosaurs actually went extinct. Instead of a new Luigi's Mansion for the Wii, we got this. And it's actually really clever and cool, which is even more sad. Oh, now they're just teasing us. This room is basically a replica of the first room in Luigi's Mansion. When you're just waving a leaf around to blow balloons, minding your own business, and a bird comes around and pops one. So look, Wii Play Motion definitely has more to do, and the mini games are a lot more creative, but once you play them once, you'll never want to play them again. It didn't really solve the original game's biggest problem, which is replay value. Before the game boxes come back to life and haunt me, go check out this video in Sony Aquarium Deluxe. It's all about fish with alien attacks, and trust me, it's one of the coolest things you'll ever see. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this, and let me know in the comments how Wii Play triggers you. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.